right, welcome back everybody. So just a quick question for all the eBay resellers out there. Does your quarantine life right now look remarkably similar to your normal life? I mean, I know we can't go sourcing and go to thrift stores and garage sales, but other than that, do you, does it, it seem like we are in the same boat as we were before the quarantine started? It does for me. I'm stuck in my office all day long. I'm stuck in here doing these videos. Oh my God. Anyway, leave a comment below if anybody else is in the same boat and feel like nothing has changed other than not being able to leave the house. Because I don't get to do that much very often anyway. All right, good morning. This is April 7th, 2020. This is going to be another quarantine sales on eBay video showing what I sold this week on eBay. If you're new to my channel, my name is David from Davis Digs. Dave's Digs. Uh, I'm a reseller on eBay. I go to garage sales and thrift stores to find things to resell online. Today I've got six items to show you that sold on eBay this week. I've also got a home run item that I sold this week that brought 66 times my money. So stick around to the end of the video to check that one out. At the end of the video, I'll also have a complete breakdown of everything I paid for all my items, what the fees were, what the shipping was, and what my total profit was at the end of the day for those items. All right, we got this pair of chaps. They were a motorcycle chaps, leather. I paid three dollars for these at a yard sale. Uh, I took a best offer of twenty dollars on these. The fees were only two dollars and sixty cents. Shipping was nine dollars and seventy three cents. That gave me a profit of four dollars and sixty seven cents. It was only one and a half times my money, so not a big flip, but a flip nonetheless. Stay safe and leave a comment below about what you're going to do this Easter during self isolation. I'm trying to decide on staying in the living room or the bedroom. Next, we got this game day NFL San Francisco 49ers jacket. I paid three dollars for this at a yard sale. It sold for twenty-eight dollars in free shipping. The fees were three dollars and sixty-four cents. Shipping ended up being thirteen dollars and twenty-eight cents for a total of eight dollars and eight cents profit. It was only two and a half times my money, so not a great flip, but a flip nonetheless. Next, we got this U.S. Diver scuba equipment. It had the mouthpieces and the gauges and the, I guess that's a regulator there. So I had it listed for $129, but I took a best offer of $95. I paid around $5 for this. I got a whole big bag full of scuba equipment and I've made most of my money on this, but I figured averages out to probably way less than $5 an item, but we're gonna say I paid $5 for this one. So the fees were $12.35. The shipping was $30.86 for a total profit of $46.79. Nine times my money. Pretty good flip on that one. I'll take it. Next, we got this Clink Tools knife. I don't know what this is for, but it's an actual tool of some sort, a specialty tool. Anyway, I paid a dollar for this at a yard sale. Uh, same place I got that San Francisco 49ers jacket. It sold for $19.99. The fees were $2.60. Shipping ended up being $5.27. And the profit was $11.12. It was 11 times my money. Awesome, awesome flip. Paid a buck, brought home 11. Next was this Logitech cordless uh, sensor of some sort for a controller. Xbox 360 or Xbox controller or something like that. I don't remember exactly which one it was for, but just had it laying around. I got nothing in this. It was going to go to a yard sale, but we can't have yard sales right now because we're in the middle of a coronavirus. So I listed it and see what would happen. It sold for $11.89. And like I said, I got nothing in this one, so there's no cost of goods. The fees were $1.55. Shipping was $3.31 because it was super light and I think it was like eight ounces. Shit first class, really cheap. 
So I got seven bucks out of this. Would have been a lot better than a yard sale. I probably would have only gotten a dollar at a yard sale for it. So I will take the seven dollars. Okay, so the last item for this week that I sold was a GPS. It was a Magellan, Magellan Roadmate GPS. It was all brand new in the box. Everything sealed, nothing, never been used. I got this in a filler box sale. The guy had 50 empty Budweiser cases on the front porch and you paid $15 for a box and you got to fill it completely full with whatever you found and I packed it full. So I've got way less than a buck in this. So let's say I paid a dollar for it. Uh, it sold for $90. The fees were $11.70. The shipping was $11.19, which gave me a profit of $66.11. And that is my home run score for this week, guys. It was 66 times my money. Actually, a lot more because you remember I said I paid less than a dollar for it. So really, really good home run on that one. something on my screen you see something right there ah it's a thumbs up hey there's another one down there below this video click on it for me thank you okay that's all i got for you today i hope you enjoyed the video today if you did hit the like button and if you'd like to see further videos like this hit the subscribe button you'll be notified every time i have a new video come out